Greetings coders. In this video, we are moving forward into the object-oriented paradigm and C++. Object-oriented paradigm includes encapsulation, which restricts direct access to some of the object's components, which can prevent accidental modification of data and allows the object itself to control how the data comes into and how the data is modified within an object. We also have inheritance, which is a mechanism to create a new class from an existing class and utilize the properties of that parent class in the, the child class. It also creates and promotes this idea of code reuse and the creation of a hierarchical relationship of the class structure. So for example, if you had an animal as the, the parent class and then dog as the child class, the dog class would inherit the properties because it is an animal inherently. And that hierarchy that's created from that is driven or enabled by inheritance. Next, we have polymorphism. So polymorphism supports method overriding and allows methods to do different things based on the object that has been instantiated. This basically is the ability to have classes that will act differently, but can be treated as similar within the program. If you have, for example, again, an animal as the parent class and you have a dog and a cat, Quite a few of the properties will be inherited by dog and cat that are similar, but the program as a whole can treat them as just animals. And so that separate functionality that's within each of those can be used when necessary, but otherwise when it's passed around, everything's treated as an animal. Last, we have abstraction, which basically means that the language will hide the complex implementation details and only show what is necessary for the rest of the program to interact with and use the, the class or object. And so this simplifies the interaction with objects by providing clear interfaces for the, the program to interact with. So C++ is in the object-oriented paradigm. It grew the, the complexity and the capabilities of the C programming language by extending it to support the object-oriented paradigm. And so C++ supports encapsulation by allowing the bundling of data and functions that manipulate data into a single unit called a class. C++ supports classes. In addition, C++ has access modifiers or visibility modifiers such as public, private, and protected to control how these functions can be seen by other classes. The next is inheritance. C++ allows classes to inherit properties and behaviors from other classes, enabling reuse and creating this hierarchy. Not only that, C++ supports single and multiple inheritance, allowing more complex relationship modeling between the different classes. C++ also supports polymorphism, allowing methods to be defined in a base class and then overridden in the child or derived classes. It supports both function overloading and the use of virtual functions. So it has quite a bit of flexibility to, that works with the polymorphic aspect of object -oriented, the object-oriented paradigm. Last, we have abstraction. So C++ supports abstraction by allowing the creation of abstract classes and, and interfaces, focusing on the essential qualities rather than specific characteristics. And this provides a way to define a common interface for different implementations of the same class. As a project or a program moves into more of a, a maintenance mode or where things need to be modified to add in new functionality. By having common interfaces, you're able to make changes that are less likely to impact the rest of the system. And 
similar to the object-oriented paradigm, it allows the focus on essential, the essential qualities of the, the classes or, or the concepts. So some practical examples. The standard template library that's within C++ uh, uses these classes and objects. And there are just a ton of real-world applications out there that use and have implemented the object-oriented paradigm within C++, enhancing the code reuse, the, the structure, and the maintainability of those systems. And that's it for this video.